हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम ललिता एंड हार्टी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वी बैकस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टेक्निक दैट इज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ अ नॉन परफेक्ट स्क्वायर रूट नंबर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग एन इजी वे ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग नॉन परफेक्ट स्क्वायर रूट इन जस्ट सेकेंड्स इन योर हेल्थ मैनी ऑफ अर्स नो how to calculate the square root of perfect square numbers but many of us don't know the how to calculate of non perfect square numbers let us start find out square root of non perfect square numbers in seconds in your head let us find out the square root of 19 it's not a perfect square number so we have to see where does 19 fall 19 falls in between 16 and 25 and 16 is more closer to 19 so we will take 16 16 plus 3 it becomes 19 the so square root of 16 is 4 and we have to divide 3 by double of 4 that is 8 so let us divide 3 by 8 you cannot divide 3 by 8 insert decimal insert zero here 8 threes are 24 subtract 6 insert one more zero 8 sevens are 56 4 so your answer will become 4.36 approximate you can check in the calculator let us take another example find the square root of 28 i think 28 is very close to 25 let us take 25 plus 3 25 plus 3 becomes 28 the square root of 25 is 5 and remaining number is 3 and divide 3 by 10 double of 5 let us divide 3 by 10 You cannot divide three by ten. Insert decimal. The insert zero here. Ten threes are thirty. So your answer will become five point three. Let us take third example. Let us find out the square root of ninety three. Ninety three is very close to hundred. If we subtract ninety three from hundred. The answer is seven. So hundred minus seven is ninety-three only. The square root of hundred is ten. So ten minus divide seven by double of ten. That is twenty. Let us divide seven by twenty. Insert decimal because you cannot divide seven by twenty. Insert zero here. Twenty threes are sixty. Then insert zero. Twenty fives are hundred. So zero point three five. You have to subtract zero point three five from. Ten. What is the answer? Nine point six five. Now it is written nine point six four. It is approximate. We have to calculate up to two digit numbers only after decimal. Let us take one more example. One hundred seventy one. One hundred seventy one is very close to one sixty nine. If we add two, so one sixty nine plus two is equal to one 
171. The square root of 169 is 13. So 13 plus 2 is equal to 15. So you have to divide 2 by double of 13 that is 26. Let us divide 2 by 26. You cannot divide. Insert decimal. Again you cannot divide. Insert 0. Insert 0 here. Then let us see how many times it will go. I think 8 times. Let us try. 8 6 are 48. 4 carry. 16 plus 4 20. No, it cannot be divided. So we have to take 7 only. 7 6 are 42. 4. 7 2 are 14 plus 4. 18. Again, approximate again you can divide by 7. So 0 0.077. If you add 13 plus 0 0.77. The answer will become 13.077. This is the square root of 171. That is non-perfect square number. Let us take one more example. 261. 261 is very close to 256. If we add 5. It will become 261. The 256 is a perfect square number and the square root of 256 is 16. If you add 5, it will become 21. Let us divide now 5 by the double of 16. That is 32. You can't divide. Insert decimal. Insert 0, one time it will go minus 32, 8, then how many times I think uh, it will go by uh, 1, 6, 5 times, 5 to the 10 carry 1, 15 plus 1, 16, 20. So, your answer will become how much? 16.155. Again, it can go 5 times. Ten five three is a 15. Carry 1. So, your answer is 16.155. That is the square root of 200. 61. Now let us take last example. Find the square root of 675. It's very close to 676 and square root of 676 is 26 and here you have to subtract divide 1 by double of 26 that is 52. Insert 0, you cannot divide, insert 0 here, 0 here, it will go one time, again 1 0, how many times, I think uh, 9 times. 9 twos are 18, carry 1, 9 5, 45 and 46. 2, 1. Let us subtract now because 7, it's 676 minus 1. You have to subtract 0 0.019 from 26. 26, 0, 0, 0 minus 0 0.019. 10 minus 9, 1, 9 minus 1, 8, 9, and 25. Let us see the answer. 25.98 is the correct answer. You can check in the calculator. It's a approximate answer.
Now there is a homework for you. Find the square root of the following numbers. 27, 47, 93 and 105. Thanks for watching the video. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe and comment in the comment section. If you are old, cause old viewer, then like and share the video. Thank you.